Six, five, four, three, two, one. And it's game time, baby. Con X5 here. We finally got round two underway. We were going to see if QuakeCon. This is going to be Chubby versus GS3K. GS3K was the number one seed, so we got to buy the first round. So this is the first time we're going to see him in action. Not sure whose map pick this was, but it's uh, actually should be his because he was the higher seed. So go, he's going to go ahead and pick Rankin. Um, actually haven't seen that played so much uh, in this tournament. I think it uh, being a bigger map, a lot of people figure they'd rather get, to, get straight to the action. Ooh, Chubby takes him out with a minigun. 12 health left. Any shot by him would have taken him out. Instead, uh, Chubby able to make the most of that. Down to one health, though. That armor's not going to do him any good if he can't get some health packs. Grabs one. He's going to head over uh, to the 50 armor, see if he can steal it away. A little low on health. He does get some easy damage. Ooh, another LG shot coming out and some spam from the flat cannon. The Chubby up to a quick 2-0 two two lead. We'll see if he can convert, anything to, or convert any uh, spawn kills off of this. You can hear Ganja going up top. Oh, a headshot coming up the uh, coming up the ramp. Chubby up three nothing already. He's gonna go ahead and push forward and see if he can get more damage output. Two more LGs on Ganja. Chubby doing a lot of damage with these LGs, just sitting on top, shooting him in the face, and he's not taking any damage from Ganja. That's really the key. He's not just like trading damage for damage; he's just getting free damage output there. And now he's up 4 nothing and looking real sweet with all this armor. GS3K probably going to need to try to cut him off somewhere. Catch him in a uh, an off-balance position so that he can, uh, you know, get some free damage of his own. But Chubby right now is not missing. Every LG and every combo has been right on point. You see him going on, going on a spree here. Another LG coming out. Finally misses with a flak. Ganja, though. Going into these head-to-head -head battles, he's in such an armor disadvantage. It's really going to be hard for him to come around or to, to, uh, to come out of those alive. Um, Chubby's in really good position, but I wonder if Ganja's going to decide to try to contest the 100 against him or if he's going to opt to uh, try to go off. I mean, what we've seen some high-level players in the past do is concede the 100 armor and instead go soak up all of the uh, vials a couple times and get all the weapons ready. And that way, uh, you can kind of prepare yourself to take on, take on the other guy head on, even if he's got the 100 armor. And right now, Chubby prepared to get a full stack going on here. Heading over to the shock rifle, up to LG. Ganja not contesting the 50. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see what GS3K is up to. Got a little bit of health. Kind of doing what I expected, soaking up some of those vials, trying to finish them off, or at least do some. Uh, Break him down a little bit with some damage. Oh, and a good prediction shot there as uh, GS3K on the run once again. Shots coming in from behind. Oh, GS3K just dodges that one. That combo would have been disastrous. Instead, he gets some damage output of his own. Not going to be enough, though. His chubby is just so stacked on armor. It's really, really going to be hard to, uh, to overcome that. Oh, and a rampage coming out. I don't know if that was a headshot. It sounded like it. Oh, nice prediction combo there. Heard him coming that direction. And, uh, you know, really just kind of baited him into that one. So, Chubby looking pretty solid here. Waiting to, to, to listen for his opponent. Trying to figure out which direction he's going to be moving. Knows he has a health advantage. He can win those shock juggle matches whenever you have that health advantage. I mean, he took a good amount. Took a good amount of shots there. Oh, and a headshot midair coming straight from that spawn. Once again, that's something uh, we said previous matches you want to watch out for is the players that can predict where their opponents spawn and get some early damage uh, and occasionally get a headshot, get an instant kill off of that. That's going to be really the sign of someone who's uh, more experienced as a dueler. 100 armor going to Chubby. <laughs> kind of stuck down in that in that little trench, but uh, GS3K going ahead and uh, conceding it. Oh, wow, a nice prediction. Must have heard him coming through. Don't know if he picked up anything uh, down there, but uh, a good prediction shot there. Breaks him all the way down, looking at 27 health for GS3K. He's going to head up to that lightning gun. Maybe try to take that 50. Nope, gets LG'd on the way. A lot of times when you head towards that 50, uh, when you're... 
Oof, like dominating coming in there. Up by 15 now. A lot of times when you head up to that uh, that 50 armor, you're leaving yourself in a vulnerable position. Uh, the opponent's going to predict that you're going to go through there and you end up walking right into a combo or a flak ball or something like that. You see all kinds of fire on Chubby, but he's got plenty of health and armor. Chubby's going to try to hear him coming and cut him off. Oh, wow. Jumps around. Here's his footsteps. Pops out. LG's him right in the face. I, I guess he took that 100 armor. Just past the, uh, or just about to approach, I should say, the, the half minute mark in this game. And right now it's been all chubby up on uh, GS3K. You can see that sniper rifle already popped three headshots. Shooting really, uh, really accurately on this land, in this land environment. A lot of, a lot of players find that they, uh, they can really, it's a lot more into, ooh, misses that piston out of there. Probably for the better. There's actually rockets shooting right at his feet. So if we would have made that jump, we would have taken some damage. But yeah, a lot of players find this game works a lot more intuitively on land because what you see graphically matches up a lot better with uh, what's actually happening in game. You see him once again winning that one-on-one -on -one fight. And that's really what a lot of this is coming down to is that Chubby just has more health and armor. So when we walk into these one-on-one -on -one battles, you know, even if he takes damage, it doesn't matter. He can just keep being aggressive because in this case, look, he's got you know 50 more health or whatever. There's the unstoppable, up by 20 now. Still a minute away from the halfway point of this game. Position to shock juggle, not hitting those LGs. There we go, finally finishes him off. Or finishes him off right as the 100 armor spawns. Heading back around to, uh, ooh, just misses that flak. Just missing with that LG too. Heading back around to that minigun. Predicts him, pushes him back. Got that 50 armor. Oh, and that 50 armor can't save him from that shot. So LG penetrating right through that armor. Remember, if you don't have enough health, then that armor's not going to do you any good because it only takes off half the damage. Shock battle. Who's going to lose that one? So now maybe GS3K can get something going. Again, though, when you're really low health, uh, it's tough to convert anything off of those kills. See him heading up to the 50 armor. Shock rifle still where he dropped it. That's a bit of a mistake there. You don't want to give away a free weapon to someone. It's on the run. Oh, a nice combo there coming out by GS2K. Another shock primary, but again, uh, when you're when you have such a health and armor deficit, all those you know tricky shots and all that really doesn't doesn't do you all that much good. Oh, Piston coming out for GS3K. Doesn't even get a kill off of that. How low is he? Down to 20 health. Going in for the kill with that. He probably pull out the assault rifle. Could probably finish off the kill there. And uh, six and a half minutes left. 23 kills. Getting close to the point uh, where you really can't come back from it. But again, sometimes it's a mental game. Sometimes there's this much time left. You kind of want to reset in your mind and just say, all right. Let's calm down, start start from scratch here and just say maybe in the last five minutes I'm going to try to, uh, you know, I'm going to try not to uh, not to lose the last five minutes. I'm going to try to break even or maybe I'm gonna, in the next two minutes I'm going to try to pull, ahead, pull a, you know, uh, pull within a certain amount. So there's ways you can set little goals for yourself to, uh, to set yourself up for the next match. Chubby here taking that 100 armor. You can see uh, he's got shots coming to the side, but GS3K kind of backs off of him. Probably not looking real great. Yeah, not looking real good on health and armor himself, so he backs off to... Uh... Oh, here he comes. GS3K with a nice combo to the head. Going to be able to do some damage with rockets here. Might be able to finish him off. Trying to pull a linoleum there with Chubby and get a, a short-range piston kill. Fifty armor getting scooped up one more time. LG standard routine on on rank in. If you can't get a can't get a uh, a spawn kill out of it, you do definitely want to scoop up that fifty armor and maybe a weapon or two. Keep it away from your opponent. 
Oh, prediction combo. Had the... Oh, wow. Last second denial. Was that even rockets? Yeah, it was a rocket. Switching to that rocket like a uh, like a quick player. Just popping him right in the feet, keeping him off that 100 armor. Maybe the first... Is that the first 100, first 100 armor he's gotten? Yeah, first 100 armor GS3K has gotten all game. Maybe he can turn this into a comeback. Don't think he's going to be able to, you know, come back and win or anything. But, you know, maybe he can get himself a little momentum and a little more mentally ready for the next map. Couple nice, oh wow, three nice prediction shots coming out of there. And once again, I'll show the scoreboard. 27 to 7, pretty much over based on the math. But uh, we have seen GS3K kind of making some, some tougher shots. He might be waking up a little bit. You definitely see him uh, feel a little more comfortable as the match has gone on. Um, really, the problem he's had hasn't been, hasn't been that he hasn't been shooting well. So he just hasn't had the, the health in the armor. Uh, when your opponent has double the health of you, if you can sit there pinging each other back and forth, you're going to lose every single time. See another good good shot coming out. Let's, uh, let's go view Chubby, see what he's running with. Oh, he's actually really low health himself. So actually, GS3K, oh, if that grenade would have connected, he probably would have killed him. But Chubby falling behind. Oh, misses the easy shot right up the dodge ramp. Rocket's coming out. Takes one right to the groin. And there you go. Chubby uh, probably going to... Oh, it mutually... <laughs> some scorched earth policy happened in there. Mutually assured destructions. They just shoot each other right in the face. And you see 100 armor up. LG coming out. Chubby pretty much getting a free path to that one. Oh, gets goo to the face. Doesn't quite kill him because of that 100 armor. Lucky, luckily he had it. Misses the dodge jump, though. Good prediction, LG, but he kind of, kind of gave himself away by throwing that link down the hallway. Once again, that 50 armor hallway is very easy to predict. If you know your opponent's on the other side, you pretty much know where they're going. Down to 20 health is Chubby. He's heading around. Probably going to scoop up some of these health packs over on this side of the map. You get a lot of the health on this side of the map. Uh, 75 in health packs. However, you don't have uh, many weapons over there of any importance. Does put himself in position for the Thunder Armor, though. I don't know what the spawn time is, but... If it comes up soon, he is going to have a chance at it. These rockets coming down. Not quite far enough to hit him. Does get broken down, though. and finally goes down. So let's follow uh, GS3K now, see if he can turn anything out of that. Still, do still down to low health. Has followed up that, that poor beginning with uh, you know a little bit better showing in the last few minutes. Not sure who's map pick this way is. Not, not sure if uh, map pick's going to matter in this matchup, given what we've seen here. But you never know what happens second. Like I say, I don't, I don't think the... Uh, I'll check the accuracy just because we can. Chubby definitely, uh, <laughs> Chubby definitely uh, uh, having the accuracy advantage here, but I don't think that's necessarily telling the whole story. I think uh, it relates the control of the positioning that matters more than anything. <laughs> well, right as I say that accuracy isn't really the big difference here. Yeah, see, gs 3 k the land accusation there. Able to steal the 100 armor. Again, sometimes little moral victories can kind of get you mentally ready to go for uh, the next map. Oh, a little piston kill. Those are always my favorite. We saw plenty of them in the, uh, <laughs> the early match. We need to see more of them this tournament. With 40 seconds left, all academic at this point. 36 to 13. Ooh, and a pixel LG shot right there, right between the grades. The GS3K just sort of trying to get some momentum going. Rockets and LG coming out. Flack to the face ends that thought in a hurry. 20 seconds left. Probably just going to dive at each other. Uh, shoot weapons. It's basically going to be a TAM match for 15 seconds. Wow. 
Great minigun. I think people are starting to realize just how effective the minigun and uh, Link, for that matter, can be on land. Might see more of that in, the, in these later matches. So there's your find. Like I say, map one of this round two matchup. Not sure what the uh, what the next map will be, but we'll look, go ahead and let them, uh, let them figure it out.